Hi and welcome to Success Forum. I hope you are doing fine. Let's talk about four basic rules to becoming a millionaire. Four basic rules to becoming a millionaire. I took these rules from a story in the Bible. This story is found in Matthew 25. You go and read from verse 14 to 30. Basically, the story talks about a master who was on a journey. He was going out on a long journey, so he called his three servants. The first servant, he gave him five talents. Talents are simply bags of money, so he gave five bags of money to the first servant. Uh, the second servant was given two bags of money. The last servant was given one bag of money. The story says all these three servants were given that money according to their ability, according to their ability. So the first servant went and invested the money, second servant invested, the last servant, we know the story, that he went to bury the money. So when the master came back after some few years or a period of time, the first servant came to give a, an account to the master. So he says, Master, you gave me five bags of money. I have generated five more bags of money. Here is the ten bags of money. Then the master says, Well done, my good and faithful servant, because you have uh, earned more, more shall be given to you. So he goes, the second servant came, uh, he says, Master, you gave me two bags of money. I have generated two more bags of money. Here are the four bags of money. The man was congratulated and invited in the banquet of the master. The last servant came, says, Master, I knew that you are, I know that you are a hard man who harvests where you did not plant, you reap where you did not sow. So I was scared, I feared to trade your money. So I buried your money, here is your one bag of money. And the master says, you wicked and unfaithful servant, you could have put my money in the bank, at least I could have earned interest on it. That's how the story goes. So that story teaches us about five basic rules on how you can succeed in life and probably become a millionaire in life. Number one, these, the, the, these four basic rules are the reasons why the two guys succeeded and the reason why the, well, the other one guy failed. And actually, as a matter of fact, because the other one guy failed, even the one bag of money that was given to him was grabbed back and given to the one who had more. And then Jesus said, <clears throat> for those that have more, more shall be given to them. And I totally believe in that principle. If you have more, you are capable of generating more. If you do not have even the little that you have may be grabbed away from you. So let's go in straight and look at the four basic rules governing money, basic rules that can make you a millionaire, basic rules. Uh, if not done, is the reason why many have uh, failed. Number one, you need to cast out fear. Investments are risky. There is no investment that is free from risk. There is no business that is free from risk. We live in the risk environment. The one guy that did not invest the money, he feared to lose the money. The other guys that invested their monies, they had cast out the fear of losing. And so they took their chances. They took the risk and invested their money. And that's how they earned more. In life, you have to take risks. And actually, your life is surrounded by chances, probabilities, and risks. So every day is a risk. You jump on a bus, it's a risk. You crossing the road is a risk. Even investments are a risk. The people that succeed, the people that become millionaires at the end of the day, are those that ignore the risk. They take chances in their lives. Of course, these have to be calculated chances. But if you don't want to take chances, you will never win. There is only a group of people that never fail. And this group of people that never fail are those who never try anything. 
As long as you are trying something, there will be times when you fail. But failure was not meant to stop you. Failure was meant for your lessons. So when you try something, you try a business and it fails, just learn from it. Get yourself up and try again. Life is like that. As you keep on trying, you will definitely hit onto something and you will succeed in life. So cast out the fear. If you are scared of investing, this is the reason why you are losing out. You see, if, I, if, if you are given a 10,000 today, you are given a 100,000 today, if you are scared of investing that 100,000, just watch yourself. Few months down the line, it will totally go and you will not know how that money disappeared. Money always disappears from people that try to own it. Money by its nature is currency. It has to be on the move. So if you try to keep it, it will fly away from you. Take your chances, take risks, and invest the money. Number two, the Bible says those guys were given whatever they were given, bags of money according to their ability. So one received five, the other one two, the other one one bag of money, and the master gave them according to their ability. Uh, in one sense, what Jesus was teaching us is the fact that God does not give you what you pray for. God gives you what you are able to manage. I've seen a lot of people trying to pray for big things from God and they feel like their prayers are not being answered. The reason why your prayers are not answered in that direction is because you don't have the capacity to handle what you are praying for. You don't have the ability to handle what you are praying for. So when you build your capacity to handle it, God will give it to you without even you struggling to pray about it. If you are asking God for one million, how is he going to give you one million when you don't have the ability to handle that one million? So God gives you what you are able to handle. God will give you what you are able to manage. So if you want to receive big from God, build your ability to handle big. Build your ability to handle big. Otherwise, God does not just give you things you pray for. He gives you things you are able to handle. If you want to become a billionaire or you want to become a millionaire, begin to build your ability to become. Because you must become what you want before what you want comes to you. I want a hundred thousand. Become like somebody who can handle a hundred thousand. Can you handle it? If you can't handle a hundred thousand, you won't have it. We've, we've seen this happen in many spheres of life. You win a jackpot, that is 500,000, but you do not have the capacity to handle it. From a jackpot a few months down the line, you are back to poverty, you are back to square one, because that's what you can handle. So it's not the issue of giving you big things that, that matters. It's the issue of bu you building the ability to handle the big things. Once you have the ability, you can handle it. Others are praying, no, God, I need promotion. If God was to promote you to become a manager, do you have the capacity to handle responsibilities of a manager? If you don't have the capacity, no matter how much you pray for it, God will not take you there. So build your capacity, increase your ability. That's number two. If you want to become a millionaire, build yourself into a millionaire. Begin to reason like a millionaire. Begin to talk like a millionaire. Begin to act like a millionaire. Begin to plan like a millionaire. When you do that, definitely millions will follow you. The Bible says finances are supposed to follow us when we seek the kingdom of God and the way of doing things of the kingdom of God. So build your capacity. Start building your ability now if you want to become that kind of person in life. Number three rule that will make you a millionaire is make the most out of the list. Those guys were given bags of money. They went with whatever they were given and they made the most out of that. Again, many people pray to say, unless if I have big monies, then I can begin a business. I can begin to invest. They despise the little things that I have. Listen. That very salary you are earning, no matter how small it is, make the most out of it. Make the most out of it. Do not despise that it is too little. Do not despise that it, too, it is too small. God gives you small things so that you can make the most out of those small things. Probably the man that received one bag 
uh, was scared he thought it wasn't enough capital to invest i don't know what was going on on his mind but i've seen most people that are earning small monies they say no i don't have enough money to invest i'll start investing when i have enough money my question to you is how are you going to have enough money if you don't start investing it's the very little that you are getting right now that you must keep on multiplying little multiplied is much better than just little remaining the same so do not despise what you have now do not despise your income right now thank god that that income is coming into your life thank god that you have that small business begin to manage it well then it will grow into business into a big business you don't have to wait until you grow big to manage well begin to manage your resources well whilst you have few resources that that's actually what will lead you to increase of those resources and you'll become the kind of person that you want to become start from where you are do not despise that level so make the most out of the list do not ask for the most just ask for a window of opportunity once you have that window of opportunity then you can exploit it i was talking to somebody about success and we were saying as long as the door is opened a bit and you put your foot into the door then you are in you are in that's how you stop doors being shut before you whenever they are trying to shut the door before you just put your foot into the door once you have your foot on the door that's a little opportunity and the door is flatly open for you that's number three thing that's gonna make you a millionaire when you begin to treasure the little and make the most out of the least number four thing that makes people millionaires or makes people successful in life is those who are successful they act and they act promptly they act immediately so when you learn how to implement what you're learning you learn how to act on the information that you are getting that is gonna change that's gonna change your life greatly there are so many people that have learned so many things. Many of you are watching the videos on YouTube. Some of you are listening to some of the videos I've done already on, on YouTube. And you are appreciating this information that is coming to you. But then my problem is this. It doesn't matter how much you appreciate that information. If you do not implement what we are discussing in this um, success forum sessions, if you do not put it to practice it will not work for you information that is stored in your head cannot help you it's the information you put to practice so implement what you are learning act immediately when this master gave the talents to to the servants the two servants that received one received five bags the other one received two, two bags they immediately that's what the bible says they immediately went to do business they immediately went to trade so i don't want you to waste more time trying to listen to all the videos you've listened to enough videos you can keep on listening to the other videos later on but after you listen to this one go and act on the information that you have go and begin to implement if it means starting to plan tonight start planning tonight and the following day after you listen to this be on the move be on your toes be on your feet and begin to implement whatever you are learning from this if you don't act immediately the desire that you have to change in your life may die off by the way you need to take into account the fact that time is not waiting for you when you want to become a millionaire you need to become a millionaire as soon as possible so that you can have several other years to enjoy the money you want to make so please get out and begin to work on this plan begin to work on a business proposal begin to plan for a business begin to raise money for capital begin to engage yourself begin to acquire skills what i'm saying is act 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 that's what will change your life millionaires are millionaires because they act on ideas they don't keep ideas for too long they act on those ideas they take the risk and everything like that so these are the four rules that will make you a millionaire cast out fear do not be scared of investing do calculated investments take calculated risk 
everything about life as a risk. Even breathing is a risk. You don't know the kind of air you are taking into your nostril. That's a risk. You don't know the substances that in the air that is in the air that you are breathing. You don't know the chemicals that is in the water that you are taking right now. So you are doing a lot of things by faith. You can even apply that kind of tenacity, that kind of faith into your investment. Begin, begin now. Don't start tomorrow. So cast out fear. Number two, build your ability. Build yourself into a kind of person that can handle any amount of money. Some of you, when you're just given big money, you even change the way you walk, you change the way you talk, you change the wardrobe. The first thing you do is go and do a, a very expensive hair and try to show off. You see, the journey of success doesn't require you to show off to anyone. Let them just watch you. Don't even talk about it. Let them watch the results. Focus on becoming successful build your ability build your ability number three make the most out of you out of the list all you need is a small window of opportunity maximize those opportunities and number four act promptly these four rules if you follow them critically they will change your life and you will soon become a millionaire i hope you are blessed thank you